America's basically dairy land. I'm not joking. They've... They're also known for basically dairy products, but mostly cheese. And the Green Bay Packers. Mm. We're gonna go into the darker side of Wisconsin. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Jade. Top 10 scary urban legends of Wisconsin. Number 10, the bloody headstone. Riverside Cemetery in Appleton, Wisconsin is a popular site. Paranormal thrill. All those who wish to get haunted for eternity. There's one stone. There's one stone that always gets attention and it is literally, literally Kate Bloody or Kitty Kitty Blood. She was supposed as a childcare witch and a doctress and roams the cemetery and haunts her gravesite. People who visit, people are said to be touched, or touched or shoved by her ghost, and people have people have seen her ghostly apparition. And the area around her weird is unusually warm. That's from her presence lurking around. What is most instantly on the night of a full moon, blood can be seen seeping through her headstone. Honestly, that I feel bad for the groundskeeper to clean up that mess. It's haunting. Number nine. So number nine, the jogging woman of J Vine Street. What's scarier, going for a run or encountering front that likes to run for eternity? Yet Claire is a haunted neighborhood in Wisconsin. As this woman was killed by a drunk driver while driving, her shadowy figure can be seen darting in front of car. Disappear right after. Running scares me. Number eight. Dissected corpses at number eight. I'm not a fan of science or anatomy. This one has me shocked. The University of Wisconsin presently in advanced research studies. However, there's been stories says So apparently there have been some, since the University of Wisconsin has done some stuff, and it says that there is stuff that people do in the basement of that school throughout the body to dissect it, to conduct an experiments on. As they say, that people said that there's the spirits of these bodies are, that have been tampered with haunt the basement of the school. The school does cadavers about, about the human body. They do it with respect. And has been bodies that have been donated to the program. Moving on with number seven. So, the hitchhock, Hitchhiker of Highway 12 for number seven. First off, let me say that stop and hit Hitchhiker. What are you doing? Don't do it. They could be a killer, ghost, whatever. People said seen a scr So people said they see a scruffy man with a beard and some greasy hair dressed in blue jeans and an army jacket. Though those who are brave enough to stop and offer No one know why this ghostly man here and why he's haunted the road said number six. So number six, the Bloody Bride Bridge. Oof. I think a lot of people either the worst thing on a wedding day is when the bride or groom gets cold feet and doesn't show up, or when they the ruddy bloody bride is the of a bride who got killed on the bridge. Well, on her way to her big day. You can see this for us in her white dress lurking, lurking on the bridge at night. A cop hasn't even seen her laying down on the bridge. He went to call for an ambulance. She vanished like that. If you park your car near there around midnight, the bride will appear in the back seat of your car. 
you and your lover decide to get down in your car, don't park in this bridge. Unless you want to run the back seat. Number five. Hogs back road. Goat man, Jesus Christ. Don't visit this road. Good, good reason for it. It's hard for a strange mother, half, half man and half goat. Up, his upper body is, is, so his upper body is basically man with sharp nails, and the rest goat is goat with reddish fur. He hunts for lost travelers to either torment or kill them. He's already a restless spirit. Um. A woman named Mindy Rosette and her daughter, which I will not name, have believed to encounter this strange being when the creature ran in front of her car. Her legs seem to be bent back, knees like a dog, muscles really defined. I couldn't make out the hand the way he was run. I couldn't see past the car. This was something incredible. Number four, Boy Scout Lane. As the name suggests, this is not the this is not the place where Boy Scouts go. You might think, oh yeah, it's the place where Boy Scouts go to tie tie knots, roll marshmallows, and do other things that Scouts do. Ugh. This is not the case. Boy Scouts lean on paved secluded small trail, where a where a Scoutmaster murdered his Scouts. Other versions of the story state the other stories it's regulated. It was either the bus driver that killed him or they all died in a bus crash. No matter what you see, it seems the boy scouts So apparently if you do roam this path you'll have the feeling of being watched. People have said they've even seen the apparitions of of the Scoutmaster, and that child-sized handprints appeared on cars. Thin mints are my bomb, and I love Samoas. And with number three, we have the Ridgeway Ghost. Another ghost haunted road in Wisconsin. Oh my god. Um, there are two shape-shifting spirits that haunt the area. This legend goes Back to the 1840s, it's been set a bar for, for, for two, two teenage brothers. One of them was torched and burned alive, and one was killed in another awful way. One has been seen. Some have even seen them as headless horsemen, a ball of fire, and a man with a whip. Or even a big beast. These ghosts can sh... Even these things can shape shift into pigs and dogs. Oh, like they can play tricks on people if you want to pet them into a cute until until it turns into the headless horseman. Rylander Hodag. If you if you visit the town of Rylander, oof, you'll crown to the Hodag creature. Not in the way you think. This has numerous statues and paintings of the Hodag. The Hodag, a 260 foot. 65 pound creature with a frog head, dinosaur and short limbs, and a long tail. Two large sharp fangs and brownish glowing eyes. This creature is aware of his ugly time. You know, basically it's ugly and it spends its time crying over its ugliness. One of these creatures were, were caught in the 1890s, but there's still more out there. There's three ways to kill it. Dynamite, lamentins, and something else. Bring the essentials. Chlorophyte, lemons, dynamite, and a toothbrush. I'm certainly at number one. Maribel Hotel. The Maribel Hotel. It might be a nice spot to enjoy, but it is now known as the Hotel Hell Hell. One night, uh, a guest 
was murdering all the other guests in their sleep. The hotel is the haunted. It has burned down three different times on the exact same day. The guests perished in their sleep. The remains can be found on the third floor of the guests. Structure failure in the story. Till to this day, you can hear screaming from the basement. Now I know where not to stay. There you have it, folks. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Like, comment, and... Like, comment, subscribe, and share this with a friend.